Hi, and welcome to The AJ Way. Hopefully you checked out yesterday's vlog regarding my feelings on the Big Ten Conference in 2012. If you didn't, go check it out. Today, we'll take a look at one of the king conferences of college football, the SEC. The SEC is known for speed, dominance, and overall talent, especially when it comes to Alabama and LSU. These two teams alone hold extreme power between the both of them, and it's never a surprise to see one of them in the top five, or even the top two for that matter. The SEC has turned into the conference that every other conference strives to be. The Alabama Crimson Tide continuously produced teams that could beat a few teams in the NFL. I don't know what's in the water in Tuscaloosa, but those boys are crazy good. Though the Crimson Tide have lost some big names in Trent Richardson and Courtney Upshaw, just to name a few, I wouldn't say that matters much. Alabama starts out their season playing the Michigan Wolverines in a game that has been hyped up for months. I'm going to give Alabama the edge in this one, but I think in true fashion of college football, it could be either team's game. If Alabama loses, it might just kill their shot at a repeat championship. Texas A&M and Missouri will be starting their tenure as members of the SEC this season, but will these teams have what it takes to compete with the big dogs from the South? Look for these teams to have a year of growth compared to what they are used to, as they adjust to the SEC style of hard-hitting, fast-paced play. An upset or two might be in the mix as the Aggies and Tigers bring to the league offenses that could measure up with the likings of some of the SEC teams in the middle of the pack. What I like about the SEC is most of the teams have the capability of producing a great game, which can't be said for many of the conferences in college football. South Carolina, Auburn, Georgia, and Florida are all teams that continuously breed teams for success. The preseason top 25 includes seven teams from the SEC, and I see that as a reoccurring theme as the year progresses. The SEC is so good that it had not only one, but two teams in the national championship last year. The bottom line is, what makes the SEC so different from any other conference? These teams have built their programs on producing greatness for not only the college level, but NFL too. Nine players from the SEC were taken in the first round of the 2012 NFL Draft. And want to hear another mind-blowing statistic? Last year in the NFL, athletes that came from SEC schools made up nearly 18% of the entire league. To wrap things up, look for Alabama, LSU, and Georgia to be repeat names in the top 10 this season, with South Carolina and Arkansas to bounce around the top 25. The SEC is the Superior Elite Conference, the Super Excellent Conference, the Stupefy Everyone Conference. You get the picture. We'll see you next time on The AJ Way.